Nando's rotisserie chicken in 35 minutes. Is it doable? Absolutely. Okay, first of all, this is a Tesco small chicken and this is the Nando's peri peri sauce I used. I used about two tablespoons. Then it's just a case of really basting that chicken. Make sure you really cover it front and back and get into all of those nooks and crannies because you want it to go through the skin and infuse that chicken. Once you've done that, you need to insert the rotisserie spike. This spike just pushes through into the chicken and is locked in place with these little turn screws. Very, very easy to do. I found it easy and I don't do fiddly things, but it was actually worked really, really well. Then you need to just pop it into the air fryer, select the rotisserie chicken setting and leave it to do its thing. What happened with my chicken was after the 30 minute uh, preset cooking it wasn't quite done so what I did was I just used the control temperatures to the left and the time settings to the right and cooked it for another five minutes just until the internal temperature was reached and wow look at that how good does that look and I can promise you it tasted just as good it was absolutely gorgeous it was still juicy it didn't dry out and it tasted amazing so if you do have a rotisserie chicken air fryer then give it a go because honestly it blew me away i didn't expect it to work but it did and i am so pleased it worked because this is going to be a great idea during the summer months when you just need something quick and easy to pop into the center of the table on a hot summer's day and this is what i used it is the pro breeze 12 liter air fryer oven and it comes with this handy preset cooking menu and then it comes with all these accessories so this is the rotisserie tool that i use to cook the chicken it comes with these kebab skewers and then these are the paddles for a kebab and this is an air fryer basket so far i've used most of these and found them all really really good